This was just for you, like, saying you're like, yeah. All right. If you can pick up what I'm laying down in terms of the representation, if you compare the purple to the red, check with your neighbor, which of these do you think has a larger density? Purple or red? Check your neighbor now. Um, which one has a larger? Does the little one and the red one have the same amount of circles or not? No. 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 So she says, if the dots are the particles, go ahead. Well, it's kind of like what Jaden was saying. Like the particles are closer together, so therefore you can fit more of them into a smaller space. All right, good. Wouldn't the tiny red and the big red have the same density because it's about ratio within the object? So wouldn't they have the same density despite being different volumes? All right, go ahead, Bill. So like if we're thinking of like one word of answers like we have for volume and weight, like kind of like the dumb dumb it down version, I feel like density is like fullness almost, like the amount of like thingy inside of things. I fully support that. Jenny? It's the ratio of mass to volume. Well, I mean, I only drew it as a surface area. Go ahead, Paul. Um, if you're comparing the two red. Two red Legos. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Legos. <laughs> Not Legos, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Legos. I like, like let's keep it. <laughs> yeah, it's Lego. I, I think the Legos smaller Legos. red has a bigger density than the than the larger red because like it's more packed. Like there's there's more. I don't know. It's just I think like they're supposed to be compact. Is it, I don't know if they're supposed Is to it more compact? I feel like there's lots of dots, but it's the same ratio. All right, well, let's do it this way. Which, purple or red, which one has a larger density? Red. 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 Are we all good with red? Yes. Are you sure? Red. What about big red versus the little red? Same. Same or more? Same. Grace? Wouldn't it be the same because it doesn't density related to the material of the object? Uh, normally, it, it, it does have to do with, with the material. Um, so, go ahead. Maybe the, like I said before, I don't, I don't remember who said it, but it's the ratio of uh, it's the ratio of volume to mass. I think it is. So I think, I like what you guys are saying. I think in general, it's a measurement of how tightly packed the particles are in an object. Yeah. So Kylie has a suggestion. She said, um, if the volume is the actual size of the object, if the volume is the actual size of the object, is the mass the number of particles, and then this density concept relates these two ideas. Is that what you guys are telling me? Okay, so what would the units then? I don't want to 
So, basically, if you took this ratio, for these uh, what's that? We have definitions for these things. Well, I mean, what we're trying to do is we're trying to form an understanding of the relationship between all of them. Me giving you a definition does not really help you form an understanding. No, but it helps me understand what I need to learn how to understand. <laughs> I know you're more comfortable if I said here, memorize this thing, but it does not really help you. But it just helps me like wrap my head around it when I have a specific definition. I understand that you feel that way. Alright. So, here's what I would like to do now. Okay? Here's what I would like to do now is I would like to, so now that we have this understanding of these things, the problem is that um, we can measure the weight if we have a scale. We can measure the weight if we have a scale like this. Okay? Whoop. Okay? Look good? How much does this one weigh? 11 or so. I mean, when you look at it, when there's nothing on it, it's not exactly zero. See the problem? I think I was using it horizontally. Um, um, but this scale isn't exactly, this scale isn't exactly precise enough for what we want to. We have to believe that the person that wrote the mass on this knew what they were talking about. Okay. We have, we have to believe that whoever wrote this, yeah. Did they take into account the like weight of the whole as well? The weight of the what? Of the actual program. Yes. Yeah. Um. And so now we're on the lab side. And so this is called the weight and mass lab. Okay. This is the weight and mass lab. And the research question is, what is the relationship between? The weight and the mass. Okay? So on the lab side, the research question is? Uh, what's what is the relationship between the mass and the weight? Oh, I don't like that. Now. Okay? What is the relationship between the mass and the weight? What is it kind of about? Because it's hard. I feel like I did this lab in like sixth grade. I don't remember that. I don't know. I know. I don't teach sixth grade. I have a sixth grader. Now, here's the thing that I need you to know before tomorrow, is when we measure our weights, we measure them in pounds. If I step on the bathroom scale, it tells me what the weight, my weight is in pounds. Is that cool? But in here, when we measure masses, we're going to use kilograms. 
And when we measure forces in here, whether it's the force by the Earth or the force by this scale, we're using these things, and you can see that it's on the scale. It says Newtons. Okay? It says Newtons. That's what we're going to figure out tomorrow. Okay? So, what do you think Newton's is named after? Uh, delicious fruit filled cookies? It's the dude that like had a cradle. It's Newton's law. 